Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. Last time we left off, we found out that Justine's cousin, Amy Marsh, is the real mother of, well, John Marsh. And it seems like the president of uh, Zengfa was his father. Plot twist. And, uh, so yeah, I, I kind of assume that Courtney can't be his real mother, but, uh, well, there you go. And I guess when he found all that out, he kind of just ran away. I mean, what kid wouldn't be kind of shocked after hearing that, you know? No matter what age, really. So, uh, here he is. John. So that guy was my dad. He found out about his own birth so suddenly. And furthermore, his newfound father is no longer in, his, in this world. I'd always been searching for my dad. John. I get it, alright. He's the president. I know it's a complicated situation. But he even met face to face during the filming. So then why? Huh? Why didn't he tell me who he really was? I'm sorry, John. Mom, you don't need to apologize. No matter how you look at it, it's, it's all my fault. Yesterday, I broke my promise with you and didn't even notice a fire on the roof. So I destroyed everything. I crushed it all. My dad and those flowers my mom carefully grew. John! Please, for now, just don't think about anything. Just stay like this for a little while. Just for a little while. Okay? The feels. The bond between a parent and child. That's the meaning behind Lion Lilies. I know it's not my style, but that flower is from Zhang Fa. Oh, I forgot to turn off my phone. I'm just... That's professional, Pharaoh! Uh, when the hell was I ever professional? <laughs> well, however, we have no means of protecting that bond. Agent Ling, allow me to say this. This case won't be solved by sentimental... Sentimental... Mentality alone. Sent sentimentality. Sentimental... Ality alone. You know what I mean, damn it. Therefore, shouldn't we all, uh, shouldn't we do all that we can to solve it? Kind of energetic today for whatever reason. Yeah, you're right. The recreation of the past is finished. Were your, were your father's deductions correct? The old man took his deductions to the grave. He never told anyone about them. So who knows if they were right or not. Well, in that case, what about your own deductions? I would like to hear what you think happened based on the recreation. In order for us to get closer to the truth of 12 years ago. Yeah, I was thinking it's about time. I can see it now. My old man's back, real close. I'll catch up to him for sure. To the truth that my old man uncovered. Let's see what he has to say about the truth of the SS5 incident. There's no mistake the president went to the orphanage. The stuffed toy is proof of that. He was planning to meet with Amy Marsh. However, the president was kidnapped, and Cameron just happened to witness it. If Cameron hadn't been there, it probably would have just been a, a kidnapping with no, with no murder. Afterwards, the body was moved to the flower beds and a fake photo was taken. Was that what really happened 12 years ago? Okay. However, there's one thing I still don't get. Something you don't get. It's this. Why do they need to fake a photo, or take a fake photo? Why would they go through all that trouble and even make the president take part in a photo? That's true. However, the answer to that riddle, riddle must lie somewhere within. Once we get past the layers upon layers of deductions, we shall re surely reach it. Yeah, that's right. I like to hear your deduc deductions as well. Okay, so rebuttal. Wasn't well, really anything that kind of stood out, even contradictory. There's no mistake. Okay, that's true. Stuff tells proof of that. Okay, we heard it. it was kidnapped. Okay. Oh, well, let's press on that. I'd also like to verify the details at this point as much as possible. Mr. Cameron witnessed the president and his kidnapper near the orphanage, and Mr. Cameron was standing by the snowman near the road. Then, the murderer picked up a brick, snuck up on him from behind, and WHAM! Ah! K, 
Okay, we're simply verifying what actually transpired. There's no need to be scared. Well, that was so intense! Half the details of this case just vanished from my brain! Mr. Edgeworth, Mr. Ling, let's carefully verify all the facts of this case. Yeesh. Well, if you're gonna listen, I'll talk as much as you want. If he hadn't been there, it probably wouldn't have just been a kidnapping or murder. No, there is something that's gonna kind of bug me, so I'm gonna press on this real quick. If he hadn't been there, you say? That's an interesting theory. Care to explain in more detail? It's simple. Cameron was killed because he saw the kidnapping. The kidnapping itself was a success. If he hadn't been there, no blood would have been spilled. Hmm. No blood would have been spilled. You make it sound like it was his own fault for being there. Okay, that's not it. What Agent Link's trying to say is, simply, besides Mr. Cameron, there was no other casualties at the crime scene. Oh, was that all? Of course, that's obvious. The president was kidnapped, but... Once the ransom money was paid, he was returned safe and sound. Hmm. That sounds like an obvious point. However, something about it bothers me. I may need to reevaluate the evidence once more. You done explaining things to your assistant? I still have one last thing to confirm. Afterwards, the body was moved to the flower beds and the fake photo was taken. Okay. So what he's saying here is something we gotta focus on here. He's saying that no one died. However, what about that blood stain that we found? The mysterious blood stain. It apparently uh, doesn't belong to Cameron, so whose is it then? Objection! It's an odd mystery. If the eyewitness Cameron had not been there, no murder would have taken place. Is that really the case? The criminal's goal is only to kidnap the president. If there were no witnesses, there would have been no need to commit murder, right? And what if Cameron wasn't the only one who was murdered? There was a large bloodstain near flower beds. However, Cameron was murdered near the snowman. Ergo, this bloodstain could not have belonged to Cameron. Someone else's blood was spilled, and quite a vast amount of it at that. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, do you have any idea what you're saying? I do. It's hard to believe. However, that is what the evidence indicates here. On that night, 12 nights ago, there were two murders. Are you saying that the other murder was covered up? Who? Just who the heck could have been killed? A murder that was cleverly concealed. All traces of it were erased. And the incident itself was completely deleted from the case files. However, there's one thing. One piece of evidence that still remains intact after 12 years. This piece of evidence shows that something happened that night. Oh, uh, well, what happened that night? Hmm. Oh crap, I'm gonna be an idiot again. Hmm, would it be the blood? I can't be the blessing again, would it? Uh. Maybe the fire shows that, you know, the fire was there. Maybe that's it. That wasn't it. This is a piece of evidence that shows what happened on that night. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, is that, re is that really it? That piece of evidence says blah, blah, blah. Damn it all. <sighs> okay. There should be one more eyewitness who saw that what happened on that night. To show Agent Ling the evidence that proves that. So something ever involves an eyewitness? Mmm, why the hell can't I think? It's been like a week or two since I recorded this. I'm, I'm, I'm easily forgetful. Oh, wait a minute. Eyewitness. Could be the child. The other murder incident was buried in the dark by Blaze the Best. However, there's still... Okay. As soon as I start recording, I'm re-on. However, there's still one piece of evidence that remains. Agent Lang, it survived, it's, it's survived by your father's hands. My old man, you say. Please recall. There is one more thing that was hidden along with the traces of murder. 
and that is the existence of the boy who caused the fire. Why did Blaze make the boy disappear? It's because he saw something that he, sh he wasn't supposed to see. What was the thing he was supposed to see? Everything is drawn in this picture. Oh boy. The drawing of the old, the old man had. But the person drawn on the right is most likely the president. The Mozilla is also drawn near him. And the person standing opposite him is... Obviously... Sir Handogan. Take that. I tried looking up his name and it seems like I'm pronouncing it... Pretty much the English way of saying it anyway. I think if you want to say it in Japanese, it's... Oh, it's an E-N. I thought it was A-N. Wait a minute, wasn't it an A-N? Or am I just being an idiot? Hmm, okay, it is E-N. Maybe I'm still saying it wrong. Oh, whatever. A man with a knife and a large black dog. He's not other than Sir Han Dogen. What? The assassin? Why would an assassin appear before our president? The answer is clear. Indeed, what occurred that night on the orphanage grounds 12 years ago was not a kidnapping. It was a presidential assassination! How the hell does that make any sense? He howled. Then Mr. Ola and Mr. Blaze were... Yes, the two are likely partners in crime. One furnished an orphanage and uses the scene of the incident, and the other covered up the young boy's testimony. It's likely that Mr. Cameron was murdered because he witnessed the assassination itself. After all, the kidnapping never actually happened. Stop messing around! You're saying that the president was assassinated 12 years ago? We just found his, his body today! He, he's been alive up until now! That's right! I mean, we met him ourselves! But the president was assassinated 12 years ago, and the president's body was found today. That would imply there were two presidents. Well, yeah, and that can't be right. Are you sure about that? There is the possibility that there were two presidents. That's right. Up until now, I've been getting a strange feeling from the president. Say, he respects him. Boy. So he respects him, but we saw him, like, you know, being weird. The image of President um, Wang, or Huang, whatever, that Agent Lang described... And what, what we saw was really weird. It's true form. It differs far too greatly from President Huang that we know. It's as, as, it's as if they were two entirely different people. If there were, in fact, two Zhangfa presidents, exactly how would such a scenario be possible? What would make the existence of the two presidents possible? Huh. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, twin brother. That would be really soap opera-ish. I wouldn't say the victim looked like him, it pretty much is him, or at least what we see, but we know that the president employs a lot of body doubles. Could that be it? If we were to assume that one of them was a body double, wouldn't it be possible then? A body double? The president possessed immense power and authority in the, in the Zhangfa. I'm sure there were those who envied his position and made attempts on his life. Yes, just as he was attacked a few days ago at Gord Lake. It's true that there were that those were that there are those who saw his life from time to time. But I can I can't easily believe that there are two pre two presidents, at least not without any evidence. Do I have evidence that proves that there were two presidents? Oh, okay. I guess I thought it was gonna be yes or no, but apparently we do have evidence. Something that proves that there is two of them. I have no idea. Oh, let's see here. I don't know. Say that I want to see if there's the case files are updated. Uh, let's see, kidnapped 12 years ago. 
day-long link confirmed that on the evening of the incident, the president was at the Zinc Pharmacy until midnight. Until midnight? And they're saying the president had an appointment at midnight in the courtyard. So that, I think, would explain it. He, he can't be in two places at once now, can he? Has Angel Lane not noticed this contradiction? Or has he no has he noticed it and can't admit it? What is it, Mr. Prosecutor? Don't shout something out and uh, out only to suddenly clam up. According to the recording on a doll, the president visited the orphanage at midnight. However, that should not have been possible. Huh? Why is that? Why? Because at the time the president should have been at the embassy. He was together with Agent Lang's father. So Agent Lang, you really did not you really did notice. He was in two places at the same time. Ergo, there must have been two presidents. Once again, another howl. But then which of these two was the real president of that of that day twelve years ago? Most likely the one who died. Who? Who contracted Dogen to murder uh, the president? In order to learn that, first, we must have a look at the evidence that we proved was false earlier. And the piece of evidence we know to be false is, well, none other than the photo that straight up says it was a fake photo. The photo taken with Cameron's camera was taken Cameron's camera, which was taken after he had he was murdered. And he was murdered because he witnessed the president, presidential assassination. In other words, the photo must have been t taken following the assassination. Given that, who is the president pictured in a fake photo? We must consider him to be the body double. In other words, the body double had a real president murdered and took his place. Patricia Rowland and Blaze must have cooperated in that plan. Hold it! His body was never found! Just where could I have disappeared to, then? The answer to that is already quite apparent. This is where the real president's body was. Uh... And I think... Well, wait a minute. Conquer broken, grab beneath the exposed... Did Blaze dig, something, dig up the ransom money? What if he dug up the body? Last night, there was something Blaze had to un unearth with his own two hands. That item was not the ransom. It was something far more important. Oh, so Blaze unburied the... The real president's body. The possibility is quite high. What'd you say? The bones from the body buried 12 years ago would have still remained. According to Mr. Powers, construction was, was to begin soon at the slot. That was the deadline both from the movie and retrieval of the body. Because they would have found the body when they started the, cons the construction. Agent Lang, let us search the footprints that Blaze dug up. Yeah, the body was buried there. There'd be traces of it. Hey, somebody call forensics! I have the results of the search. We found traces in the dirt that suggest the body was, buried, was buried here. Ugh. So it was Wang after all, Huang, whatever, I can't say his name. We also recovered a, a skeletal remains that Blaze the best dug up. They were in his home. In addition to the bone structure, the dental records and the bone fractures all match up. We can confirm that it was indeed the president. So the real president really was killed 12 years ago. The SS5 incident was a murder. Oh boy, okay, didn't see that one coming at all. Alright. Uh, don't mean it's not sarcastic, I really didn't see that one coming. So the SS5 incident was actually a murder incident. But there's so much information, it's way too confusing. Indeed. Let us uh, take this opportunity to review the details of this case. First, the real per president came to the orphanage, right? Twelve years ago, the true president visited the orphanage in order to meet his son. Footsteps in stone that we thought belonged to Mr. Cameron, but most likely made by the president at that at that time. Okay, get that. The president was supposed to meet his son here. However, the one who actually showed up was the assassin, Sir Handogan. 
He, he came uh, here to meet his son, but was murdered instead. How terrible. A man like Dogen shows no mercy. And after that, the second tragedy occurred. You mean Mr. Cameron's murder? Indeed, Mr. Cameron saw the decisive moment. After a real president was killed by Dogen, his body was carried to the real courtyard by a team of kidnappers. Mr. Cameron must have witnessed that moment. My phone's ringing. Don't know who it is. Give me a minute, actually, guys. Give me a minute. Sorry about that. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> From the orphanage entrance. Okay. So they, they... Yeah. There you go. Although he himself believed that he had actually witnessed the kidnapping. Furthermore, by this time... The body double, who had come to meet up with Blaze and Miss Roland, was already standing behind Mr. Cameron. And then, when the wit uh, and then the witness of the incident, Mr. Cameron, was killed by the body double. So, was Mr. Cameron's corpse also carried by the body double? Yes, that seems likely. But there wasn't anything that at the crime scene looked like the body, body double's footprints. Huh. <laughs> I've already figured out uh, what, how he accomplished that. There's a piece of evidence that would have made it possible. What did the body double use to move the body without leaving any footprints? Well... I could end the video off. You know, I think I would. Why the hell not? I don't want. I don't. I don't want to keep going on. And end up having this being like really long. But in any case, um, what did a body double use to move the body without leaving any footprints? Well, not that hard to think about it. But in any case, we'll find out in the next episode. So. As usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.